so this is a life update on everything that has happened because I realized it's gonna be so weird because the last video was from March <laughs> which is so silly and I have filmed so many other videos since then I just haven't uploaded any of them this is just a recap of the last six months <laughs> so April was when I went to uh, I went to Italy with Evangeline it was such a fun trip it was like one of the best trips of my life and we went to watch an F1 race which was so cool honestly I thought I seriously seriously thought I was gonna have the chance to meet Lois but that didn't happen it was very very ambitious but that absolutely did not happen we stayed in the cutest Airbnb we went to Valencia uh, Valencia <laughs> No, no, what's the, what's the Italian place? Venice. Venice. <laughs> we went to Venice. Venice for us, stayed there for like four days, four or five days. And then we went to this little town outside of Florence, which is where we stayed for the next four days. So that's what happened in April. Went back to London for like three days because then my trip to Canada was on the Saturday. I go out from Italy on like, Wednesday or something. My trip to Canada was pretty soon. So in Canada, I went to do a research project. It was part of one of my rotations for this year. I did a research project in AI and ethics. So I was there for six weeks doing all that good stuff. I don't think I vlogged even once. Maybe I think I started vlogging like in the airport, but I just realized that that vlog wasn't gonna make it to an actual vlog, so I left it. So that was that was from May until the 10th of June. Tenth of June I came back, came to Sheffield and I did my final rotation. I did try and vlog a week-long vlog as well, but that just didn't amount to anything. But if you guys want to see the vlogs, because I like I started editing them and I was like no I hate it and then I stopped but the, some of the vlogs are actually like good enough standard just a vlog so if you guys want to see it or don't mind watching old videos then let me know because I can 100% just edit them and post it August came August was when I moved out of my apartment in Sheffield because I knew I was coming I was moving to Liverpool for a year which i think i've already explained this to you guys but if i haven't i will explain it after in the timeline of events so august i moved out to sheffield you guys first of all i thought all my stuff was gonna fit in my car a three-door car i really thought all my stuff was gonna fit in there absolutely didn't know fit but the day i was meant to drive down i went to evangeline's graduation so i went from sheffield to nottingham and then the next day I was gonna go from Nottingham to London. The day I was moving out, I brought my car to my building. It's easier for me to load the car. I drove over one of those parking pole things, the corner, and I burst my tire. I had a puncture tire. <laughs> from then, from then, my day just, it just went downhill i didn't even know why i was crying i wasn't like so upset like obviously i was upset like my tire punctured you know worst things have happened to me in my life so i didn't know i was so upset i was crying and all because i didn't know what's done i was stressed anyway i got the tire fixed after like an hour or two by the end of two hours the tire was fixed i was ready to load my car only to realize that not everything can fit in my car so i was like well shit what am i gonna do Luckily for me, I was with my friend Nola. She came to help me move out. So she was there through the whole thing. So she was like, okay, that we should just get a storage room and I can put the rest of my stuff in there. And then when I move to Liverpool, she'll drive the stuff off. So we ended up doing that. I left Sheffield. I went to Nottingham. When I got to the exit I was meant to take, I missed it. So I had to drive 30 more minutes. Go to Nottingham. Then I had a shower and just relaxed so that was that eva's graduation was cute she looks so pretty i'll try and put some pictures i'm so proud of her mm, it was so cute and then i went back to london the next day and it was only when i went back that i could actually just relax 
because I knew I didn't have anything to do until September. Okay, so I just, you know, didn't, literally did absolutely nothing for like a month. Oh no, I forgot. Kaniz was in the UK. He came on his way to Italy with his family. He just stopped in the UK for like five days and we went to Bournemouth together. That was fun. I can really forget about this. Yes, that was so fun. I think I recorded a bit. I recorded a little bit. I'll insert all the clips of Bournemouth here. so fun and then he went to Italy and I went to Croatia but it's fine because I'll see him again when I go back home um, to Nigeria in December and then we had a family holiday to Croatia which was an absolute dream I wish I could feel back it was so pretty it was so nice we stayed in the absolute absolute dreamiest villa it deserves a moment it was so good So we stayed in that villa we just did like holiday stuff like water activities sightseeing we also had a couple road trips to like neighboring countries as well which was fun and then got back from croatia and then said i guess i'm ready for liverpool which is where i am now so i'm taking a year out from medicine this year to do an llm a master's degree law medicine and healthcare and the reason i'm doing this is so i can give myself more options in the future to maybe not practice if i decide later that i don't want to practice and then at least i'll have something i mean although if you have a medical degree you can do a lot of things anyway without having done a master's degree but i just thought it would increase my chances and i'm also very interested in like medical ethics and the law side so i was like i'm interested anyway why not plus i knew before in my mind I was going to do the medicine degree and then do a master's in medical ethics or something similar but when the opportunity came for me to integrate it into my degree anyway I was like yeah I'm gonna do that why wouldn't I do that so that's why I'm doing this in, and I'm doing it in Liverpool because I don't, obviously I don't have to justify um, where I'm doing it but I would have wanted to do it in London but first of all the universities in London by the time I decided I wanted to do this the applications had closed I guess the London applications closed really early because I didn't even have a chance and then I applied to Leeds, Leeds, Manchester, Liverpool and Bristol. I didn't, I didn't like the Leeds course. The Manchester course was pretty similar to this one but I wanted an LLM. I know LLM just, for me LLM just sounds so, you know, LLM like wow. <laughs> Um, and I couldn't do Bristol because the Bristol one was too low heavy. I thought that would be too much. So I was like, Liverpool, here I come. And plus it's only a year. I think, you know, it will be fine. And I had my first seminar today and I absolutely loved it. I freaking love this course. I love it so much. Maybe check in in a couple weeks because it was literally just two hours. <laughs> so let's see. But yeah, that's why I'm doing this course in Liverpool. Life here is very different to Sheffield, very different to London. But it's a new experience i'll embrace it and i will see how it goes so that was my life update i honestly don't know how long this <laughs> don't know how long this video is i don't think anything else i've been fine honestly like i've been okay i think it just 
got to the point in April that April May time because April was when I knew I was doing this intercalation thing for sure so I was just like trying to come to terms with that decision and what it's gonna mean and me being a year behind not really but a year behind and me going to a new place for one year I just I was busy with that and then in May June I was in Canada I was so busy honestly no time to vlog I took my camera I didn't move this thing off the shelf the whole time I was there I was so busy came back from Canada and it was the last rotation I had before I was moving so I just I was still thinking about all of that and oh, you know I just didn't I just didn't really have time to do anything and if I'm honest I also didn't have any motivation cannot lie I I just I was like this YouTube thing where is it even taking me you know but then I just realized that it's a hobby and I need balance and I obviously I like doing things well and I like the things I do to succeed <laughs> but at the same time I can't be starting stuff and stopping like starting the channel and just stopping you know so that's why that's why I'm back plus you guys were asking me I tried TikTok for a while TikTok is so hit and miss. I, I literally, I went to Canada and I was like, when I go to Canada, TikTok's going to be my thing. And to be fair, I did make um, a video that went absolutely viral. But still, it's just so hit and miss because now I literally don't even go on TikTok anymore at all. Like, I used to be on TikTok every day and now I just don't even. So YouTube is more constant for me. So, like, it makes sense to still be active here and be making videos and to document my life. So, yeah, I'm going to carry on. Then carry on with YouTube, we'll see how it goes. Just document my life and some memes. And yeah, but that was my life update. I hope you guys enjoyed. And by the way, if you don't want me to edit those vlogs and post them, let me know. If you don't let me know, how am I gonna know? Mm? If you don't let me know, how am I gonna know? So yeah, that was it. Um, love you guys so much. And there will be there absolutely will be another video next week okay love you guys bye now let me try and edit this video oh wait 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 no i have completely forgot what i say at the end of videos that was it for this video guys if you like don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe <laughs> i'll be back next week with another video with another video love you guys bye